Bork, Hall of Fame defenseman, playing defense in court today. The Bruins legend pleading not guilty to drunk driving charges. Investigators say that Bork's blood alcohol level, we learned this today, was more than three times the legal limit. Andover police arrested him late Friday night after a fender bender. Christina Hager is live in Andover with more. Christina. David, it was just before 11.30 Friday night when Ray Bork was driving his Mercedes SUV down 133 here when, according to the police report, he hit a van with three teenagers trying to get home before curfew. Hockey legend Ray Bork in court after blowing .249 on a breathalyzer test police took at this intersection where he allegedly rear-ended a minivan full of teenagers. You know, I'm just glad that, it, you know, that no one got hurt. And... Yoko Hagia's 17-year-old daughter was a passenger. She says the girls did not know the man who hit them was a former Bruins Hall of Famer. It was a pretty scary experience for, for teenagers, but, uh, you know, they're, they're okay. An Andover officer's narrative in the police report says, I immediately noticed what I believed to be a heavy odor of an alcoholic beverage emanating from his breath. I noticed that he was unsteady on his feet and was swaying side to side. Bork had just left the Andover Country Club less than a mile from the construction zone where it happened. No comment in court, though a spokesperson put out a statement on his behalf. I am not happy about the situation I put myself into on Friday night. I'm a very proud person that accepts the responsibility of my actions and have always accepted being in the media eye. Bork now faces two charges, operating under the influence and following another vehicle too closely. His license has been suspended. In Andover, Christina Hager, WBC News. Lisa, back to you. Christina, thank you.